right, this is another off-the-cuff video here uh, about Cold Mac, and, and uh, I want to look at the location output of Cold Mac and exactly uh, how it behaves. So what I have here is I've got the the uh, survey essentially coming out of the left output. It's this is the closest that I, I know of to get to a direct output of this knob from Cold Mac. So I'm going from from left out uh, into channel one of data, and we're in the the frequency monitor view. So you're going to see that in the green trace, and there's an actual voltage readout there. At the moment, I'm at basically at zero. So that's going in to, to channel one of data. And of course, it's also normal to slope, increases normal to slope, and, and, and so the same, the same voltage is being applied to the crease circuit, which I'm taking out of location and into uh, channel two of data, the blue trace. At the moment, it's sitting at about 0.5 volts. And that I'm taking out to the uh, FM of Three Sisters, and I just have this little random melody going from Man Mangrove through Three Sisters, uh, just so that we have a little sound reinforcement of what we're doing. And, and the, the, this, the main reason the circuit is here is, is for uh, that patch surveillance concept, because uh, the, the location circuit doesn't really respond, doesn't really do anything very interesting with like regularly repeating symmetrical sorts of signals like a sine wave or something like that. It really needs something to arbitrarily change. And, and what it is mostly here to let you do is make a change to the survey knob and then have uh, that change propagate over some amount of time uh, relative to the amplitude of your, your offset, in this case, how far you've turned the knob. So by, by turning it close to zero, it, it changes very slowly. And if I turn it all the way, it will turn, change as fast as it is going to change. It's going at its, its maximum rate of change at these extremes. And you can see the, the trace there where the green drops very suddenly and, and location gradually migrates its way down. Well, let's look exactly at what's going on. I'm all the way at about negative five volts here. See that right on channel one. So I'm at, I'm at negative five volts, but location is actually at negative 4.18 volts. That's kind of interesting. If I go all the way around to fully clockwise, I'm now, I'm now putting five volts. It's actually 4.5, 4.95 volts according to data uh, into the crease circuit. And um, I'm getting 4.14 volts as the maximum amount out of location. So that's interesting. So this location doesn't go as far as uh, 5 volts to negative 5 volts. Now I'm going to try using a slower change. I'm just going to go to around 11.30. So I'm, according to data, I'm putting about negative 0.69 volts into the crease circuit and location is gradually drifting its way down. And you might expect it to go all the way to negative 4 point, you know, 2 volts or something like that. But in actuality, it doesn't. It goes to about negative 3 point, in this case, looks like uh, negative 3.49 volts and then kind of coasts to a stop. Uh, if I want it to go further, I can turn the knob and now it, it, it goes a little further. I can keep nudging it down and eventually I get all the way to negative 4.2 volts, uh, roughly. Um, so that that's going to be the same in the positive domain. I'm putting about one and a half volts in at the moment. Um, I put a little less. And location is going to grind to a halt. Looks like at the moment with a one volt, one volt input, it's going to grind to a halt about 3.6 volts. So if I want it to go more, I'm going to have to to nudge it up even further. Uh, also, I, I can, can make this go down without applying negative voltage. And I think this is an important detail to know if you're gonna play cold Mac in a patch surveillance sort of setup. If I bring this voltage down, I'm, I'm no longer driving that location circuit as much. And as I bring it down to whatever, 
positive 0.86 volts at the moment, you'll see I've dropped down to 3.5 volts. Now if I keep bringing this down a little more, a little bit more, a little more, down to almost zero, then location is drifted down to about 3 volts. Then I'm going to hit zero, and location shouldn't be changing much. Um, there's a very small drain happening there. So anyway, that's this is the this is the kind of behavior you, that you, you can expect technically from locations. It's not just uh, a question of if I'm applying negative voltage location will just keep going until it hits negative 5 volts. That's not what it's going to do. It's going to it's going to go in the negative direction up to a point depending on how far you've turned it and uh, and then it's going to stop and it's it's really with this knob it's never going to go say below negative 4.2 volts. Same thing more or less on the positive uh, domain, voltage domain. So, let's just for something Let's try something here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out this part of the patch, and I'm gonna substitute channel two of maths, um, and I'm just gonna set that to zero for now. And then uh, we're gonna take that voltage from channel two of maths, which is a, a a positive ten to negative ten voltage offset generator, much much greater range than than this knob. I'll put that into the crease circuit. So if I crank up uh, mass channel 2 to 10 volt offset, we've managed to push location up to about 4.5 volts. A little bit higher than we were getting uh, with just the survey knob. But still nothing like 5 volts or certainly not 10. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction, negative 10 volts, and we made it to negative 4.46 volts. So applying a little extra voltage in here, you can you can drive location a little bit further uh, in the positive or negative direction uh, if you need to. But I think that you know it's good just to see the the actual behavior of the location and how it responds to voltage input, and and then maybe not get too hung up about it because. The circuit does do what it's supposed to do, which is give you some some animation. Oh yeah, I did that. So let's go back to the let's go back to the way this is supposed to be. There we go. And uh, yeah, we can hear the timbre shifting there over time. And and that's how location works. Hope that's helpful.